hey hi this is neil here and today i'm going to help you install this package called as real statistics before we do that i'm going to briefly talk about what is real statistics real statistics is a excel add-on which enhances or extends the built-in statistical capabilities of ms excel and for those of you who are not fully utilizing the statistical analysis capabilities of Excel would find that this free statistical software can do much of the job for you in an easy way. So the website for this particular software is real-statistics.com and I would like to give credits to Charles who is the uh, person who has created this plugin and who runs this website and who has graciously offered to give this uh, add-in for all of us at free of cost. So real statistics has uh, various versions which can support MS Excel starting from 2007, 10, 13, 16, 19 and 365 and at the same time it can support Mac as well for 11, 16 and 19. It can run both on 32-bit and 64-bit. There is also support available on selected features for Excel 2002 and 2003. So let's get started. Let me tell you how you can do the installation. When I'm going to do the installation, I'm going to do it slowly so that you can follow the instructions and do it parallelly. You can go and download the required software from this tab which says free downloads and resources pack. So here you go. So this is the place where you can download your stuff and you would see that uh, instructions are very clear as to what you have to ha download and where you have to download. For example, if you are using Excel 2010, 13, 16, 19 or 365, then you can click here to download the package. And similarly for other versions, which are older versions of Excel, um, Windows or Mac versions are also available for download here. So you have to select the right package which is relevant to you and click on download and it would download in a uh, the download folder in your computer. So you can cut that and place it on your desktop or you can place it on uh, any other place that is convenient to you. In my case, I have kept these files in a folder which you see here on the screen. Actually, I have downloaded all the three versions that is 2007 and for all the other latest later versions which is the second file that you see here and this is for Mac. You have to download only that is relevant to you. So in my case, this is the one that's relevant to me because I'm using a 2016 version of Excel. So let's first start by finding out which version of Excel are we using. So let me open Excel. So we are in uh, an Excel file here. So I'm going to show you how to find out which version of Excel are you using. So you could go to this tab which talks about account and click on this and it would say which version of uh, MS Excel are you using. In case you don't find this account tab and you find only the options tab, it's most likely that you are using a 2007 version of MS Excel. So this is the first step to find out which version you are in. Then you could go and download the relevant files of real stats for that particular version. And as you would see, the file that you download will have an extension which says Excel AM. And I would request you not to open the file. Uh, there's nothing wrong by opening that file. So in case you have opened that file, you could close it again. So you don't need to do anything with that file right now. If you are working in corporate and if you are using your office laptop, don't be of the impression that this add-on cannot be downloaded in your computer and that it would need extra permissions from your IT. It's just a plugin and I have done this many times in many corporates with various types of info security restrictions and this has worked perfectly well everywhere. So you could as well install it in your computer as long as you have MS Excel either in Windows or in Mac version. Of course, if you are in older versions of MS Excel, then you may need to have installed what is called as a service pack, 
For example, if you are using a 2016 or later than 2016 versions such as a 2010 version of MS Excel, then you may certainly need to have the service pack of MS Excel installed for which you may need help from your IT guys. But if you're on a latest version of Excel, then you don't have to seek out to anyone for assistance to install this. You can do it yourself. So let's start. So go to file and go to options. I'm going to request you to close all the other Excel applications or files that you have in your computer before you start doing this, which I have already done. So once you click on file and then on options, you would get this screen. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to just go and do that in your own computer. Hopefully here you are here in the screen. So now you can click on add-ins. So double click on add-ins and it would open a, a page like this. Yes, have you got this? Okay, let me carry on. Now at the bottom, you would see that there is a small tab which says manage with a drop down of various other uh, options. By default, it would be in Excel add-ins and that's what we need. So you have to press go. So the moment you press go, you would realize that you would have analysis tool pack and you would have various other things. Uh, you may not have this real stats in your computer at all. So I just removed that because I already had it installed. So you would have something like this in your computer. So make sure that you tick solver add-in first. Again, I am reiterating that solver add-in has to be ticked first before you do anything with real statistics because real statistics needs solver add-in to be working for you to install or to run real stats. So first thing we would do is to just go and tick this and if the analysis tool pack is ticked or not ticked, that doesn't matter to us. Uh, you could tick solver and then say OK. That would take a few seconds for the solver to get updated. If you are getting any error when you update the solver, then it's likely that you are using an older version of Excel and your service pack is not updated. OK, so that is done. So first step is to install the solver. The next step is to just go and repeat the same stuff. So I'm going to go to file and options. And again, I get the same screen that I got here. Right. And I'm going to click on add-ins. Before I click on this go, what I could do is to go to this place and the file that I have already downloaded from real stats website, I'm going to copy that file, the file that's relevant to me. So I'm making a copy of that. So I'm right clicking and copying it. I'm going back here and I'm going to click again on this place which says manage Excel add-ins go. Now here if you see we already had uh, already activated or checked in solver so that's already there. So I'm going to go now and click on browse. And in browse I'm going to go and wherever this folder is wherever the browse folder takes you to in that folder. I'm going to copy and paste this real stat. If you see it's already storing real stats for me because I had already installed it and I'm trying to reinstall. So it's probably showing the older version for you. It might be an empty folder. So just control V or try to use your right click and paste that file that you had already copied. You don't need to do anything. You have to say OK. So once you have done that, you would already see that real stats has got added into your computer and you will get a tick mark already on real stats. So that means the job is done. So click OK. And it would take few seconds. And the job should be done. So how would you know that real stat has been installed? So I can run a small test to know whether it's working or not. But before that, in case you get any error, uh, for example, if it's asking for any password um, or if it's giving any other kind of error, then that means that you have not followed this procedure that I asked you to follow. So you haven't installed the solver first and then install the real stat. If you don't follow that procedure, in, in turn, go ahead and install the real stat before installing solver and then try to add solver. It's likely that you might get errors. So in such cases, 
what you have to do is just to go and uncheck real stats close all the applications and again start the procedure from the beginning so now let me just key in some data here so i am just putting some dummy data here and i'm just going to select uh, the columns or the cells in which this data is there and you would see now that on the top add in is got added so normally you may not see that add in all the time but only you select a column which has some data to analyze that is when you would see this so click on this tab and you would see real stats here so click on this you would see data analysis tools click on that and it would see uh, you would get a variety of uh, options here with different tabs i'm just going to choose the first one which says descriptive statistics and normality and i'm going to click on that and then it would have uh, already been highlighting uh, a1 to ai a8 which i had already selected so in case you haven't selected you can just click on this minus and then go and select the columns that you want such as dragging it here and then clicking on this but if you have already selected it should be already fine so output uh, again this there's a minus sign so you could click on this and select any area here and then say okay and okay again the moment you do that an analysis would be run and an output would be produced so what this output means etc will typically get covered in a analytics class but this is just the procedure to make sure that you have done the installation and to validate that the installed application or add-in is working fine so that wraps up this lecture thank you